everybody. It's Kat from Katarina's Crazy Adventures. Figured I would do a whipping chat today. Uh, this is not my normal setup. I I have a, a little desk type thing that I usually work on. But I figured for filming purposes, let me do it on. I have this little stand-up thing that um, I use when I'm in my bedroom. Um, you know, so if I'm in the bedroom and I want to do some diamond painting, I, you know, could sit on the bed with this one. So, I'm over here on this one right now. This is the bedroom project, which is one that I have in the living room. That's the living room project. Let's see some popping drills here. And, uh, yeah, so I'm almost finished this one. I just have this section to go. Uh, and a lot of it, all of this is one color. So it would be a lot of using the placer. Uh, so I guess we should get started. I figured while I was filming this, I would do, like, since I have, I got new subscribers, I have, I'm up to 55 right now, woohoo! So, I figured, since most of you don't know me, and some of you do, uh, I figured all my new friends and all my old friends, uh, that I would do, like, somewhat of a get-to-know-me questionnaire kind of thingy, so... Yeah, I'll figure while I'm doing that. So, we'll start on that. I went out to the bank this morning already. So it's like 10 o'clock on a Saturday. And uh, so I went out to the bank, came home, did the dishes. I got to do the laundry. Uh, what else? But I stopped over at CVS and I got some makeup. Yeah, like I don't have enough. But it, if crafting is the first love, makeup is the second love, or vice versa. I don't know, I can't choose, but these are my kind of colors. And it's not like I don't have enough palettes, but every time I see another palette that I don't have, it's like, ooh! So, there's that. And I needed a pair of new post earrings for my, uh, my top uh, earrings, because I have a double pierced. Oh, what I wanted to show you, uh, a friend of mine uh, has a channel... Um, GB Maltese, and she showed us this cute trick for uh, when you have the, the boat and it doesn't have, it has this opening over here. Okay, so you take the squishy that you get in every single kit that you have, right, and you cut it off at the ring right over here, right? So then after you do that, you have this, right? So then you take that and you put that on, on the end, oh hold on, doing it off camera. So you put that on the end and you squish it in there. So when you're shaking out your drills, nothing comes out. You know, of course you got to remove it so you can put the drills back in, you know, your storage thing. But if you're shaking it in there, you know, say you got a lot of, uh, you know, beads and uh, beads, <sighs> drills in there to do the uh, multi-placing uh, then when you shake it you know when they go towards the bottom it won't come out so I thought that was cool so that was a, a neat trick that she gave us to because we have a ton of those squishies in every single kit so you could put that on every one of these that you have so uh, this one that I'm working on right now is called Liberty's Light it is uh, Dreamer Designs uh, when they first uh, when I first saw them advertised on, I think I saw them on Facebook, uh, they were offering this kit. I believe you only had to pay the shipping. And of course, because it's a smaller size, it's a 32 by 28, so that's a 12 by 11. Uh, it, but it's a nice little size, and it's a cute little lighthouse with the star on the thing, and, you know, the stairs or whatever. And I thought it was cute. So... Uh, it's good. It's, it doesn't have popping drills like I'm having on the problem with the American Indian one. Uh, I don't know. With that one, it's just the drills in there. It's around and they're just not, you know, every once in a while I see one popped up or whatever. Um, it's just annoying. But, but other than that, and then, you know, some of the, you know, drills when you open them, they're stuck together, which there's an easy remedy for that, but... It's just a pain in the butt to be dealing with that anyway. Um, oh, so, uh, before I get started, 
I had told you in the last video that I had another set of pens that I got from Amazon. These were the other ones. This is the mint one. And when, see, when I show you these things, it's not like, oh, look at what I have and blah, blah, blah. It's just, like I know when I look on uh, YouTube, I look for people who do on babies. So I like watching when people buy stuff and they show, you know, what they bought, you know. So I hope you don't think it's like I'm being showy or whatever because that's totally not me. Okay, uh, so this is the green one. It's like a minty green one. Then they had, just took them out, right? Uh, they had an orange one. Ooh, 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 with that funky. They sent um, the, the nibs, you know, or the, the straighteners or whatever. Uh, you get three pens in the pack. I think it was... $7.99 or $8.99? It wasn't more than that. And they sent you sets of straighteners. This one, uh, the regular one, uh, single placer. They sent you a set for each pen, so which was pretty cool. And then they got this one. This is like a fuchsia one. They're a little bit skinnier than, uh, you know, the ones that I have, which is a little... Yeah, I, I like the uh, little bit, um, uh, what, what sword I want to use. The thicker one that uh, I'll show you on the, the one that I've been using. This one is a one from uh, Diamond Art Club. It's got like golden blue specks in it. It's just a little bit thicker, so it's easier grip. I find that the skinnier one, I'm, you know, like clenching my hand on it too much, maybe. But this was a nice, comfortable uh, feel to it. And uh, this one was $14.99. They're very reasonable uh, pricing on the pen. It's a good quality, nice acrylic, you know? So that's that. So I stopped off at CVS, I got the makeup, I got uh, a selfie light so that I could pull back the, whoa, sorry guys, that I could pull back a little and I didn't have to have the flash, so I just wanted to bring it in a little closer. Um, Elf has the selfie, selfie light for like $15, which I had a coupon for, what was it? three dollars off so i got it for twelve dollars because there's always a coupon for everything and <laughs> so i did that uh what else did i get oh and i got the earring i got the earrings got the makeup yeah spent a little bit but that's okay but, all right let me get started let me get my color so this symbol is the end symbol which one is this 46 colors for this little tiny thing. Can you believe it? Uh, where is that at symbol? At, 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 at. Why is it when you look up stuff you can't find it? it? I've been staring at this canvas for what, like a week now? Two weeks? What else? Okay, so number 41. So I have my little mini storage. With the Tic Tac ones. Uh, so that was number 41. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Okay. <coughs> God bless me. <laughs> okay. As I said, I always amuse myself. All right. All righty. Right. So, like I'm going to shake it. Right, see, and the one that went one to, towards the edge, and it's not going out. Alright. So let me grab my questiones. Let's see what we got. This is, I don't know, I picked this get to know me tag on, uh, online. Because I figured, uh, I, you know, ran, I don't know what to talk at randomly, so I figured let me get these questions and, you know, do it that way. Oh, let me turn on my light so you can see this too. This is a, I have a small A4 light. Uh, I have a, the A3 downstairs for the bigger project. So this is just for the little one. 
Uh, all right. Just notice that's so dusty over there. Okay. It, first question: Are you named after anyone? Why? Yes, I am. My full name is Catherine. It's spelled K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. I'm named after my mother. She named me after her. Uh, and she's her spelling is C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E. -E. And I, you know, I had asked her, you know, was I named after anybody? She goes, yeah, me. She goes, <laughs> so I am basically a junior. So, uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh... What is your middle name? My middle name is Rose, so it's Catherine Rose. Uh, that was my uh, grandmother's middle name, I think, maybe? I don't know. I, I know there was a reason why I picked that, but um, yes, yeah, Catherine Rose. I have the channel name Katerina because my mom, as you know, when she calls me, she calls me Katerina. You know, it's... um. You know, like a pet name or whatever. And my husband also says it that way too, because that's how you say it in Spanish. So, uh, let me start putting on. I hope my hand doesn't look huge. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's uh, when he calls me on the phone, he goes, Katerina, what are you doing? <laughs> so. That's the reason why I named it. Because I figured nobody else had it, too. So. I could use the multiplacer, but I figure. Just trying to be careful while I'm doing this, while I'm talking. Uh, when was the last time you cried? Jesus. Uh, maybe two weeks ago? I don't know. You seem to cry, cry at the drop of a hat sometimes with the commercials or whatever. Uh, if my husband puts on the... the Military reunions, which I don't know why he loves to put those on and then he just sits there and freaking cries the whole time he's watching those YouTube videos. So, uh, but yeah, so, crying's good. Gets the fatty system. <laughs> Do you have any kids? Yes, I have one child. I have a son. He's 30. Uh, he lives on his own. Uh, as a matter of fact, the, my craft room now is his old bedroom, so, woohoo for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I only have one. I did want more, but the situations, you know, about years back, I would, you know, my husband and I were separated for a while, so uh, it just didn't work out that way. So I'm good with it. It's fine. So if, if you were another person, would you be a friend of yourself? Well, of course I would. I am so freaking cool. So not really. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think so. I, uh, I, I, you know, I'm the type, I'm a Virgo, so I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, you know, you, right away, if, everybody always says, if they, you know, don't see a smile on my face, they know something's wrong. So you can tell right away when something's wrong with me. Uh, but yeah, I think so. I'm a, I'm a good friend. I really say I like to think so. Alright, so let's... Next question. Do you use sarcasm a lot, do you think? Um, yeah, I do. I mean, that's my humor. So, I like to be sarcastic. But sometimes you get a person who doesn't, uh, like, get your sarcasm. And then they dig you just a bit. So, <laughs> it's hard. But, yeah, I would say I use sarcasm a lot. Uh... Finishes row. This is so relaxing. I have a, some time in between because um, my husband and I watch this uh, German uh, national teams in soccer. We like uh, European football, they call it soccer. Uh, way back when, in 2014, there was the World Cup and he got me hooked on that. So uh, this time around, it's the Euro Cup that's going on right now. I think it got postponed from last year because of COVID. So, uh, we have a game at 12 o'clock, so I had some time in between. And, uh, they have to win today, otherwise forget it, they're not going to advance. So, we'll see what happens with that. It's this is a whipping chat, Kathy. You have to... 
do the, the whipping and the chatting at the same time. You know, they start to go off on a tangent and then I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. So you start me talking to figure out it. Uh, what's the first thing you notice about people? Uh, I guess the way that they're dressed, I don't know. Uh, but if I'm talking to someone, I guess, you know, uh, I guess their eyes, I guess the first thing you notice about people. I don't know. That's, it's, that's a weird question. But, uh, yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I take people for face value. You got to, you know, figure out people and see what they're all about and uh, go from there. Let's see what else. What's, what is your eye color? My eye color is brown. I always wanted it to be blue, but this is what I get. So it's okay. If I wear like a purple uh, eyeshadow, it gets, uh, they get lighter. So, whoop, hello. Pull that in. I guess I should have put something up there to stop it from moving. Why is my nose running right now? Oh, sorry guys. Uh, scary movie or happy endings? Happy endings because I am a scaredy cat of uh, scary movies. It's not a good thing for me. I don't like things about ghosts or supernatural or anything like that. I'll watch like um, Suspense or what's the name of those movies where um, uh, Final Destination. I'll watch stuff like that. But as far as uh, devil or ghosts or anything like that, possession... Nope, nope, not happening. Nope, nope, then no thank you. Not gonna do it. Uh, favorite smells. Huh. Well, this is a loaded question right now, and I tell you the reason why. Uh, as you all know, since if you've been watching most of my videos, I had COVID last year, uh, back in March of 2020, and uh, I lost my sense of smell and taste. I would say I have each back 75%, so I don't really smell things the way they used to smell. Um, it, it's weird, it's just like a hit or miss with certain things. Um, certain things I could smell it for what it is, and I, I could cer smell certain things from far away, but other times I can't or, I, or it smells like putrid it smells like onions or uh, it, it's just it's such a weird thing to describe uh, even a little TMI here my poo and my pee does not smell like they should every time I pee it smells like sweet onions so which in a way is a great thing because you know if you dealt it, you smell it, or whatever that's it, but I can't smell it, so. Uh, but in a way, I feel it's a bad thing, because it scares me, because then what if something, like, with the gas, with the stove and everything, and uh, I used to be able to smell things from miles away, but now, you know, it's totally different. The, you know, I went to the ENT, I mean, there's a whole Facebook group that everybody has the same problem, that... Uh, there's just nothing you could do about it. It's the nerve endings inside your nose, and there's nothing you really do. The ENTs are stumped. They don't really know what to do. Uh, they could tell you to do the, you know, the essential oil smelling training, and that works to an extent, but, you know, it's, like I said, uh, certain things with sweet stuff, um, like ice cream, I used to eat vanilla ice cream all the time. Can't do that because I can't taste it all. It just, you can't taste the flavor. It just tastes sweet. So uh, I switched to chocolate because I could taste chocolate for some inane reason. I could taste chocolate. So I've been enjoying uh, chocolate ice cream. So, which I never used to before. So, 
you know, certain things change. It's, I thought, oh, hey, great. You know, my sense of taste is, is off, so, yeah, I'll lose some weight. No, you just find other things that you could eat, that you taste, so you just eat those in excess, so. <laughs> but that's all right. Uh, let me see if I can dip down so you guys can see. I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. Or if not, you can see it later. Um, okay, next question. That was a long-winded one. Uh, what's the furthest you've ever been from home? I'm so going to say Florida, because that's where uh, we've gone on vacation. Uh, I've been to Canada, too, but, yeah. Uh, do you have any special talents? No, other than crafting, no. I don't think so. No, no. What's the f uh, no. Where were you born? I was born in Queens. Corona. Corona in the house. Um, Queens girl. Uh, in New York. And uh, that was back in September 1st, 1967. So I am 53 years old. So yeah. Uh, birthday's coming up in September. 54. Whoa. Okay. What is your zodiac sign and do you believe in it? So, as you heard before, I said I was a Virgo, so I'm a Virgo. And yes, I do believe in it to a certain extent. Um, but yeah, you know, I do feel that, like, you know, the descriptions that they have uh, for a Virgo um, kind of fit me to a T. I don't like to be late. Uh... Yeah, you're a perfectionist with certain things, I think. As you can see, I put down the drill individually and make sure that they're in the correct place. Yeah, I think that's a perfectionist. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Well, duh. There's the sarcasm. Um, uh, crafting. Uh, adult coloring. I like makeup. I like naily things. Nails. Jewelry. Uh, it's not a hobby, right? <laughs> Just describing things I like. <laughs> uh, but other than that, let's see. Other hobbies. Uh, crocheting, cross-stitching. I haven't crocheted in a while. I want to pick up cross-stitching again. Uh, but I don't like cro uh, crocheting in the summer because it's too hot for that. So, uh, let's see. Do I have pets? Yes, I have birds. Because I can't have a dog or a cat because I'm allergic. I could have a dog, but like a short-haired dog. But then I'm not waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and walking a dog. It's not happening. So, there you go on that. Uh, do I have siblings? Yes. Three brothers, two sisters. I, my two oldest brothers uh, have passed. Um... And then I have my two sisters and one brother who lives in Florida. Uh, love my sisters to death. My best friends. Uh, we haven't hung out in a while. We hung out right after. Uh, we hung out uh, for Mother's Day. Because uh, we all, were all vaccinated or whatever. But I haven't gotten back because I've been so busy. But uh, hopefully... Uh, next weekend or the weekend after that. And we do have a uh, hair appointment in July, which we all go together, so that's fun. So that's that. What did you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> oh, I'm still not growing up yet. No, it's easy. Um, I always wanted to be a dancer. Well, like a dance. <laughs> I do like these uh, choreographed uh, things in my head. You know, when I hear a song or whatever, but I, I, I took tap when I was young and I, I tapped out of that. Um, like many things that I start and I don't finish certain things. <laughs> remember, Mom? Remember the Girl Scouts? <laughs> I drove my mother crazy when I was younger because I wanted to be in the Girl Scouts. Be in the Girl Scouts. Because really, I wanted to just make hot cocoa with marshmallows. And... Um, you know, not realizing what all that entailed. And my mother uh, became a dead mom and everything. And then I was just like, nah, I'm kind of done with this. And then she was stuck doing <laughs> feeding a dead mother. So, 
Uh, what's the next question? Who is my first best friend? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I guess my mom. My mom's still my best friend. Um, but yeah, I guess. How tall are the next question? How tall are you? I am five 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 six, depending on how straight I stand. <laughs> so yeah, five five, I guess. Uh, what is your least favorite thing about yourself? I hate my feet. Um, I, I don't have these cute toes that you could, you know, wear the sandals with or whatever. And I, I always wanted that. But, yeah, I just don't like my feet. <laughs> you know, that's the hardest thing to say. But it's true. Um, and, and I would like to be thinner. But uh, I got to keep working on that. So that's another thing I don't like about myself. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Whip and chat. Whip. Work. Work. Uh, okay. So, let's see. Next question. Funniest moment throughout school? Uh, I don't think I had any funniest moments in school. I uh, really didn't like school. To be honest, I gave my mother a hard time when I went to high school because I really didn't want to go and uh, I just didn't like it. I don't know. It was a high school was a big change from I went to Catholic school. So uh, I don't know. So funniest mo I don't I don't know. I was just used to hang out with friends or whatever. So there were funny times there, but nothing really sticks out in my brain. Um, how many? countries have you visited uh, i haven't visited any countries i've only been to to florida where we're going to be going to uh on a cruise to caribbean i know it's another country uh but uh that got squashed i want to go to germany i want to go to greece i want to go to france uh but i haven't i have gone to different countries in Epcot so <laughs> if that counts then yeah I've been to China I've been to Japan I've been to England <laughs> so what was your favorite word or worst subject in high school favorite subject was English worst subject was math I hated math maybe I should get should I get it? Move this up a little bit? So, I don't know. I hate playing with it while I have it. Maybe from the side you can see better. I feel like I have it at a bad angle that you're only seeing my hand. Which, it's a pretty hand, but... Uh, let's see what else we got. I was going to do 25, let me keep going. Uh, what is your favorite drink? Animal and perfume. Okay, favorite drink. I like the uh, hot tea, uh, chai tea, all the different teas or whatever. So if they're talking, but if they're talking like drink, drink, like liquor drink, that would be a margarita. Uh, favorite animal. I like uh, dogs, uh, but uh, I'm trying to think what else. If you want to ask me my favorite uh, aquatic animal, that's a, um, an otter. I love otters. So, uh, since I'm little, we used to go visit one at the zoo. Freddy the otter, I named him. Uh, you still can't see me. I wonder if maybe I should do this with my left hand. I don't know. All right. I'm sure you, you guys know what I'm doing, so. Okay. Oh, perfume. Um, my favorite perfume is um, J'adore Dior. It, um, but I can't really smell it right now, so I haven't been wearing it. Um, but yeah, that's my, my favorite smell. My favorite perfume. What would you or have you named your children? Well... <laughs> My son's name is Hector, named it to his father. Uh, we thought that he was going to be a girl, 
So I had the name Rebecca picked out, but uh, never had that girl, so there's that. Uh, what sports do you play? Have you played? I'm not much of a sports player. I like to watch, but, um, you know, last time I played baseball or, or softball or whatever, I got hit with the, the ball in the eye, so that's not going to happen again. Uh, what are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, well, if we're talking uh, diamond painting, let's say Kiss My Crafts, GB Maltese, uh, Stitcherista, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, uh, who else? Mindy's Diamond Moments, Urelli, um, it's just all I can think of on the top of my head. As far as, like, Disney people, um, of course, it's, uh, paging Mr. Morrow, Nate. He's such a wonderful human being. Uh, uh, Jen and Joe on the go. They're a good one to watch for Disney. They're drinkers, so they're funny. Oh, uh, Traveler, Traveling with Disney. Uh... They're a nice couple. They do dining reviews, so hopefully we're going to meet them when we go in uh, December to Disney. Uh, how would you describe your fashion sense? If it fits, I wear it. No, uh, <laughs> I like, um, I want to say my style I would love to try to get into is boho. Um, I like to wear hats, different types of hats, and then, uh, yeah, so I like that kind of style. Uh, what phone do you have? Android versus iOS. Uh, I have Android, I have a Samsung that I film on right here. Oh, I finished that color. Uh, so we gotta switch colors now. So, alright, uh... Tell us one of your bad habits. Did bad habit? Uh, me? A bad habit? Uh, such a good person. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess that's a question for somebody else to point out to me. Because <laughs> I don't think I have any bad habits. Um, let me move on to the rest. I don't know about that. Three things that upset you. I don't like when people are late. That annoys the crap out of me. I don't. Maybe this is like, you know, what bothers you. Uh, is when people walk and they shuffle their feet. That drives me insane. Oh my God. Uh, let's see. Three things that make you happy. Crafting. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh Spending time with my husband and spending time with my family. So, I guess that's it on that. What else? What's on your mind? Nothing much. Was when I do crafting, I don't want to have to think about anything. How is your relationship with your parents? Very good. Um, I do need to call my mother because I haven't called her uh, this past week. Uh, my dad passed when I was four, which I have to go to cemetery tomorrow. It's Father's Day. And, um, you know, so I really didn't really know him because I was very young when he passed. And, uh, but I think we would have had a good relationship, I would have hoped. So, but yeah, no, very good. I had a good childhood. I cannot complain. Uh, what's your talent? I can remember numbers for some stupid reason. Or I could... Uh, I have a good memory for faces, names, eh, not so much, but faces, I can remember people from years ago. What word that, one word that describes you? Wacky. That's me. Um, 20, number 20, 20, 20, 20. Oh, this is the, the blues color. 
I'll dump a whole bunch in here because I need a whole bunch. I'm going to just dump out this container. Okay, and again, I'm going to shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, ha, ha, I forgot to put the thing in because I emptied it out. Okay, shake it, and that's what's coming out. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, what is your favorite quote? That's what she said. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite TV show is The Office. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> what is the farthest you've been from home? Yeah, we already gone over that one. Uh, are you an extrovert or an introvert? What do you think? Um, there are certain situations where I am an introvert. You know, if I go someplace and I'm like the only one, I don't know anybody there or whatever, so I'll kind of be quiet in the beginning type of thing. But, uh, yeah, if you know me, I'm an extrovert. Uh, yeah, I'll, t I'll talk to people, you know, standing in line, you know, wherever. That's just me. But my mom's like that too, so I guess I'll take you after her for that. Uh... What's the next one? Are you left-handed or right-handed? Obviously right-handed. Uh, Woohoo, 36 minutes so far. Um, do you consider yourself a good cook? I uh, know. Uh, I could cook to save my life, you know, to eat. But, uh, well, here's the thing. As long as I have instructions on how to cook stuff, you know, or I can't make stuff off the, you know, you know, off the roof just like that. Uh, if I have instructions and I know, you know, what I'm doing with that, then I could do it. But, uh, I, I just, I just don't like cooking. I like baking, but I don't like to cook, which, uh, much to my husband's chagrin, I think he thought... When he met me, oh, she's Italian. I'm going to be eating pasta this every Sunday. No, you got the wrong girl. Um, so I think that was a little bit of a, a shock to him, you know, when we got together. Because it's like, oh, Jesus, she doesn't cook. And sometimes it bothers him that, you know, when he comes home, he's got to cook or whatever. Not that he's got to. But when I get home, we have the deal that if I get home before him and I want to go uh, do the bike, you know, for exercise or whatever, when he comes home, he'll start cooking. So that, that's that been our deal. So, yeah. So, yeah. And then I said, I don't feel like cooking. I jump on the bike. Oh, yeah. Could you get started? And then I'll jump in. <laughs> But yeah, it's not one of my favorite things. Uh, if money no were no object, what would you get for your next birthday? All the diamond paintings in the world. Um, what would I get for my next birthday? Money were no object. No, I don't know. I have everything that I want, so I don't think there's really anything oh well i've always wanted a cadillac cts so maybe that i don't know <laughs> i just love that car i mean and i'm talking about the older one from like the matrix kind of uh one uh i just love that car but yeah no i don't really you know i'm blessed uh you know we've been doing okay uh you know, it's been patchy here and there since, you know, the pandemic or whatever with hours, with work and, um, you know, but we're pulling through. We're doing okay. So I cannot complain. And if I ever want anything or whatever, it's like, we don't really buy things for each other. Like, let's say Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays or whatever, because when we go away to Disney, we go for like two weeks. And, um, if I see anything when I'm there, it's just like, whatever, I don't care, got it. Uh, or even if, like, you know, because my husband is notorious for passing the, the channels, um, for, whatchamacallit, 
you know, like jewelry television or QVC or whatever. It'll be like, hey, you like that buy it or whatever. And as a matter of fact, he just bought me a, a ring. Not an expensive ring, but uh, real pretty, like a cubic zirconia one. You know, uh, we're not looking to break the bank here. We buy what we can afford. But yeah, it's just really pretty. And he knows I love silver, obviously. And uh, so he was just like, get it. So, I got it. It's really pretty. So, you know, he he just, whenever I want something, I can get it. You know. Again, not bragging. This is the way it is with us. Does my name have a special meaning? No. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Um, I would say either, well, I, we always wanted to move to Florida, but that, uh, ship has sailed, I kind of think, uh, because now we're older, so, I don't know, maybe, we would still like to move there, uh, but if I could go anywhere in the world, I was like, what the hell is that noise? I know, some truck outside is backing up. I was like, did I set an alarm or something? Um, I would love to live in Australia or Germany. Yeah, I think uh, either one of those two places we were talking, like in Europe or whatever. Yeah, I would love to do that. Uh, what's your favorite thing to have for breakfast? I, uh, I guess French toast. I don't get to have that much, but that's okay. I, Really, I have in the morning, I have uh, yogurt. I like to eat light for breakfast. You know, unless there's certain days like yesterday where me and the girls uh, got McDonald's. So, at work, I mean. Because uh, uh, our bosses weren't going to be in the our section of the office. We wanted to have a little fun. So, we did that. Um... I know I could be multi-placing, but I'm just enjoying putting them on one by one for some reason. <laughs> uh, helps me concentrate when I'm trying to say something anyway, so. And that's what the whipping chat's about. What is your favorite gadget? You know, I do like gadgets. Um, favorite gadget? I guess, I guess the new favorite gadget is this, uh... The selfie light, I think it's amazing for 15 bucks, and it's from e.l.f., so, uh, which is a makeup company that I buy from, but, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it's working really well. I like it. Uh, but, yeah, I like my Nutribullet. Is it a gadget? Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, gadget. No, that's not a gadget. Well... The, the Bartesian, the, the, the cocktail drink maker, I like that. Yes, I'm an alcoholic. No, I'm only teasing. <laughs> I like a good drink. Here's, here's my thing. I didn't, when I was in my 20s, I didn't drink, you know. Uh, I don't think we, me and my husband started drinking until everybody's like, oh, here she goes, talking about the drinking again. Um... We didn't start drinking until we were, like, in our 40s. So that was only, like, maybe... For him, it was... 15, 16 years ago. And then... That was, yeah, me about 13 years ago. Because I'm 53. He's 57. Oh, great. They're mowing the lawn right now. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Uh... So that... That gadget thing I like. Because you have to, I'll, I'll take a video one day of what it actually does. Because it's neat. Because it has these pods. It doesn't have, in the pot, the pot's about maybe yay big, right? And uh, it has what they have, you know, the bitters and all the whatever you need to, the ingredients. And then on the side are these cylinders that have the liquor in it that pulls, you know, the ounces that you need for whatever. So, it's just neat watching that it does that. So that's my gadget that I like. What is, and the last question that I have is, what is your longest relationship so far? 
Well, I have been with my husband for 31 years. There was a period for three years that we were not together, but collectively, um, it's 31. So I was going to say that's the longest uh, relationship that I've been in. Not to say yeah, we haven't had uh, our crazy times and bad times, you know, and there were times where, you know, he was a real douche. Um, but, so, you know, we were younger, stupider, so, you know, there was things that he did that were screwed up. There was things that I did that were screwed up. So, you know, we evolve. We get older. But... That's that. Maybe I should move into the some of the other. I found other questions were likes and dislikes. So let's see. And there's a whole bunch of those. So uh, I'm gonna try to round this out to an hour. And I'm hoping you can hear me over the friggin' uh, the weed whacking that's going on right now. Sorry, but they do it on a Saturday. I don't know why. Uh, 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 uh. Settle. Okay. Uh, likes and dislikes. What is your favorite? We already did that one. Your favorite TV shows or web series? Uh, favorite TV show of all time is The Office. Uh, drives my husband crazy because, you know, it's on Comedy Central. Um, during the weekday and then on Saturday and Sunday it's on and I can watch them over and over. I don't care. And I can still find things that I missed that they said that were funny. So, but I just love that show. It was a great show. He watches the same crap over and over too. If I have to watch one more, uh, uh, some monkey monkey garage or whatever i can't freaking stand that guy that's in that show he's so annoying uh do you prefer soft drinks or alcohol drinks well we all know what that answer is going to be but no um i like soft drinks like when i'm gonna have like chinese food or pizza i gotta have you know soda or whatever um so i like to have a soft drink i like dr pepper uh I, I recently like um, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast from Taco Bell. Oh my god, that's so good. I guess because I like lime and that has like a limey flavor to it, so I like that. Uh, which season do you enjoy most? Why so? I love the fall because who doesn't love the fall? It's like... 70 degree weather or you know 70 to 50 degrees is my sweet spot i like that you can wear a hoodie but i like that it's not so freaking humid like it is today um so yeah that's my favorite and i like spring i just don't like july august um because it gets so hot uh yeah, you know, it's one thing you're in here in the AC or whatever, but then when you go outside and it, it's so humid, I just don't want to do anything when it's humid out. So, yeah, that's why I say fall is my favorite. And I guess that's why I like to do the fall diamond paintings because then uh, it just puts me in my happy place with the, that's the season that I love. And I like winter, but I don't like the winter when it's like slushy snow and all that crap but i don't mind i don't mind cold because i like wearing sweaters and sweatshirts and you know all that stuff so i don't mind that uh are you a morning person or a night owl i'm both i could wake up super early and get going and do what i gotta do but then I also love staying up late, but which sucks because if you're both, then when do you sleep? So, <laughs> you know, I, so I'm notorious for like Friday night and Saturday night. I'll stay up till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, diamond painting, coloring or whatever, because, you know, don't have time during the week because you work. 
We do have time when I come home from work, maybe two or three hours after dinner, that while we're watching TV, I'll diamond paint, because if I don't do anything while I'm watching TV, forget it, I'm out. I'll, I'll be asleep on the couch. Um, what is your favorite music or song? Do you have a memory related to it? Favorite music or song? Um, I like everything. Uh, I grew up listening to everything. Uh, I grew up on musicals. So, uh, you know, kind of why I break out in tunes sometimes because, you know, I've always been listening to, uh, really, do you have to be doing that while I'm, when I'm taping? Uh, they used to come during the week, but then my neighbor who uses them as well, uh, was having a party one time and he switched them to come on the Saturday because they were having a party on the Sunday and now they've been doing it ever since. So yeah, no love lost between uh, my neighbor to the right of me because uh, he's a mm, freaking asshole when he moved in. So, but that's another, uh, that's for another time, another whip and chat. We'll, we'll go into that one. But, um, yeah, so they come on a Saturday. So by during the week, by Thursday, the lawn looks like crap because it looks longer. Am I bothered by that? No. Sarcasm. See? Sarcasm comes in again. Uh, oh, favorite music or something, like I said. Uh, anything by Bruno Mars. I love Bruno Mars. Everyone knows this. Uh, and I love pink. Uh... Um, I don't know if I have one particular favorite song. I don't think so. But yeah, uh, I mean, my, my big brother, uh, we always used to sit in his room and listen to music. So we used to listen to Zeppelin, we used to listen to opera, we used to listen to everything. So, uh, jazz, you know, he was, he was a big jazz head, so... Um, I would say my heart loves jazz, uh, cause I could, you know, be like in, uh, I would always say I love to be like in a lounge and listen to that, the saxophone, like bossa nova music. Oh my God. I love that. See, you get older and stuff changes, you know, but, yeah, and don't get me wrong. I like my 80s stuff. I like my, uh, freestyle stuff. So I love that too. I just love everything. Yeah, I'm going to have to wrap this up because I don't think you're going to be loving this sound that's behind me. But, let's see. Yeah, we're almost at an hour anyway. But, uh, let me see. What is your favorite cuisine? Do you ha do you know how to cook this food? Uh, my favorite is Chinese. I do not know how to cook it. Uh, we've gone over this. Uh, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, that, and I like Italian. Uh, I love uh, Mediterranean. I love that. Because uh, I love olives and hummus and things like that, so. Should we be able to finish this tonight? Uh, let me see. I guess I'll do one last question because they're getting closer to the window. Uh, who is your favorite celebrity? What makes you admire him or her? <laughs> That's funny that I picked this one. I, and I, my husband knows this, because if I ever met him, that's my one cheat, is Gerard Butler. Because he's got the, he's Scottish, he's got the Scottish accent. Um, yeah, I think he's, oh my god, he's just so funny. Uh, it's like a, he tells a story, you know, in interviews or whatever, he is so funny. Uh, I love that movie with him, P.S. I Love You. Um, he's just all around. He's a great actor. He's a good guy. I think he's a hero. He saved somebody when he was younger uh, from drowning. Uh, but yeah. That's why some of my uh, passwords on certain things I use is Gerard. <laughs> the guy picked the eyeglasses that I have that I use for work on the computer. They're called Butler. Because I like them, but it just coincidentally was his last name, so <laughs> so I picked it from there. But 
All right, I guess I'm gonna end this because of the noise in the background. Um, next time I will plan this better, so maybe I'll do it later on in the afternoon so we won't have that noise in the background. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to sort of say thank you so much to new subscribers and old subscribers. Uh, it's been exciting watching me, uh, you know, getting views and uh, getting new subscribers. To me, it's, I just have a whole bunch of new friends, so I love it. Um, but yeah, um, I guess I, I have a whole bunch of, you know, more likes and dislikes questions. So I guess in the next, uh... We've been chit chat with Cat. Um, I will do the rest of those questions. But uh, other than that, I hope everybody has a good week. Uh, yeah, I hope that the weather is okay for you. I can't wait to go downstairs now and put on the uh, AC in the living room. Uh, watch my game and hopefully my team wins. And they will further advance into the uh, championship, we hope, we hope, we hope. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it. Uh, it'll be a lazy day, and then we, uh, we got to do uh, some stuff tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, first and foremost, go to the uh, cemetery for Father's Day, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I wish everyone well. Everyone have a blessed week. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, if you're just peeking in on this whipping chat and you're not subscribed, if you want to click that button. If not, you don't have to. It's okay. Uh, I'll be happy nonetheless. But, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully the work week will go quick. Uh, I got some, see here I'm going to end it and I can just keep talking. Um, I have uh, work to do this weekend remotely because we are so busy. So I got to do some catching up, uh, which is a great thing. Because then that means things are getting back to normal and, uh, yeah, the world is going back to normal. We can hope. Hopefully nothing happens and, uh. We'll just keep moving forward in this crazy time that we've all been dealing with. So, other than that, all right, I wish you all a great week. Uh, stay well, be well, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.